This video will cover the Unit 2 Reproductive Biology section and covers biology, control and fertility and specifically contraception. So you need to understand what fertility is and what infertility also is in the previous video. But mainly this will focus on people who are fertile and would therefore need that contraception if they then decided they did not want to become pregnant. Okay, so first of all you need to know the definition of contraception, which is essentially, or the function of it, sorry, which is to prevent any kind of pregnancy. And therefore, pregnancy occurs when fertilization occurs. Okay, so it prevents pregnancy by preventing either fertilization or implantation from occurring. Now, it can do this in a number of ways, and there are generally two different types of contraception that we focus on in the higher human course. So the first one is physical. And the physical methods will generally just focus on preventing sperm from meeting an ovum. And therefore that prevents any kind of fertilisation. Now they're not exclusively that, but that's the main point of most of them. And there are different types of physical. So we have barrier methods. And these are quite commonly known. So barrier methods will create a barrier between the sperm and the ovum and therefore prevent fertilization from happening. Now barrier methods are things like condoms, right, worn by males, cervical caps, worn by females, and also diaphragms, which are also worn by females. Another version of physical contraception is what's called an IUD. Now, an IUD is known as an intrauterine device. Intrauterine means within the uterus, so a device that's been implanted into the uterus. So what you'll tend to see is they look something like this, with little strings attached to the bottom. So it's a kind of T-shaped bar, and sometimes you'll see some coil at the bottom of it, which is why it's sometimes called a coil. Now the IUD is inserted into the uterus, and the function of that is then to prevent fertilization. And it does that by basically killing the sperm. Most of them have copper on them, which will then not be great for sperm to live. And also it prevents implantation. And it does that by affecting the endometrium lining and making it inhospitable for the sperm to, or the sperm and the egg to meet in, or at least meet near. And then for the embryo that's been fertilized to implant into. And the last one, which is a permanent method of physical contraception is what's known as sterilization. So this one is very difficult to reverse, almost impossible. So therefore it's described as permanent. So either the oviduct of a female is sealed or the sperm ducts of a male are cut. Now what that does, it prevents then either the egg from being passed down from the ovary down the oviduct to the uterus and therefore prevents the sperm from entering up and into the oviduct if it's in the female or if the sperm ducts are cut then it prevents the sperm from being released outside of the male's body and therefore prevents fertilization. So for chemicals these are the ones that involve hormones. Now, at some point, some of the IUD points they mention in physical, they'll occasionally mention they have hormones on them, but for the purpose of the higher human course, we just refer to IUDs as physical. For all the rest of the ones we talk about, they'll involve hormones. Now, it might not be real versions of those hormones, it might be synthetic versions, but they're still hormones nonetheless. Okay, so we have different types, and mainly these are the pills that we would talk about. So we have the oral contraceptive pill, the one that we would just swallow 
as a pill. Now, the oral contraceptive pill is the one that's most widely known. Taken for three weeks, once a day. And then sometimes there's a week off or a placebo, a placebo week where they take a pill that doesn't actually contain any of the hormones. Now what these have in it is synthetic hormones. Now, synthetic means fake and they have synthetic versions of oestrogen or progesterone or both. Okay, so synthetic hormones in this one. Now the purpose of this is that they will mimic negative feedback. So in contrast to the infertility treatment, which would prevent negative feedback, these ones would mimic the negative feedback that you'd normally see in a female who was pregnant, where levels of progesterone and oestrogen are really, really high. So it mimics negative feedback, and therefore, because it inhibits the pituitary gland, it will prevent the release, or it would inhibit, sorry, FSH and LH. Production. And again, that would be by the pituitary gland. And because FSH and LH drop, no more follicles will develop. So they won't mature, they won't develop, and no ovulation occurs. And therefore, it's impossible for fertilization to occur if there's no ovulation. Now the next one which is talked about is the morning after pill. Now that morning after pill can do two things. It prevents either ovulation if ovulation hasn't occurred yet. Or it prevents implantation if ovulation and potentially fertilization have occurred. The next one was with what's called the mini pill. And the mini pill contains progesterone only. Now the purpose of that is then, it will thicken the cervical mucus. Much the same as it did when we talked about it in hormonal control. Now if that cervical mucus is thicker, that will prevent the sperm from entering the uterus. And if the sperm can't enter the uterus, then they can't reach the oviduct to then allow fertilisation to occur. Now, in addition to the pills that you can take, these ones here, so the oral contraceptive pill, the morning after pill, the mini pill, generally you can also get injections or implants as well. Now, these are normally made of progesterone, or contain progesterone, and therefore would be very similar to the mini pill. But injections or implants are also an option if the pill is not suitable for a person. The contraception part is really small, which is just what you see here, but it relates obviously to the fertility and infertility treatments that we talked about previously. So that would be these combined for the whole of the biology, um, biology of control and fertility section.